guys, it's time. It's time for the Super SAF style camera comparison between the OnePlus 9 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is serious business. I'm not even wearing my sunglasses so I can properly examine all of the images. I'm, I'm not actually gonna be using this, but you get the point. And we're doing a slightly different format. The previous format did get quite long and a lot of you were asking for something a lot more compact. So that's what we'll be aiming to do, but we will be covering all aspects. We'll be looking at all of the cameras, including low light as well as video. So I'm gonna put the specs up on screen. You can see those. We're not interested too much into the specs, but essentially we do have an ultra wide camera on both devices, a primary camera, as well as telephoto cameras. We have one telephoto camera on the OnePlus 9 Pro. We actually have two telephoto cameras on the S21 Ultra. Okay, that's out the way. Let's get to the images. So we have this massive collaboration with Hasselblad. And in the images, generally I noticed that the color science was more natural compared to the more vibrant colors of the S21 Ultra. So having a look at this picture of some flowers, both are doing really good. But if you look at the greens, they are a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more punchy on the Samsung versus the more neutral colors on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now this generally comes down to personal preference. A lot of people actually prefer the punchier colors saves them having to edit anything. So yeah. Now the color science is more noticeable in this example. My car is a satin black color, but on the S21 Ultra, it does have a bit of a blue hint to it. Again, Samsung's color science. I do prefer the colors on the OnePlus 9 Pro here, but generally speaking, both are doing a good overall job. Here's another image. I think both are doing good, but if we do look towards the shadow details, then the S21 Ultra does seem to be maintaining more details in the shadows compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro. And here's another example. We do have more of a contrasty image on the OnePlus 9 Pro, but in boosting up the contrast, we do have more punchy greens here on the OnePlus 9 Pro and also, some of that shadow detail has been crushed. So I do prefer the S21 Ultra here. Now for low light images from the primary camera, here you can see both are actually doing a really good job. And at first glance, the S21 Ultra does seem to be doing better. But then if we look towards the grass area, there is a lot of noise and artifacts. Whereas the OnePlus 9 Pro is giving you the overall cleaner image, which I do like. In this example, I think both are doing really well. The S21 Ultra, again, more in the shadow areas, but generally I would say this is a bit of a draw. Another example, here we've got my car and I almost thought I took this from the same camera, so I had to check, but it definitely wasn't. Both are doing very, very well. Now in this shot, this is low light indoors from the primary cameras. The OnePlus 9 Pro immediately, you can see that it's a brighter image, but I would say that the S21 Ultra is a little bit sharper and it has a little bit less noise compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro. Ultra wide. So both devices actually have great ultra wide cameras. And as you can see here, both actually do a really, really good job overall. The S21 Ultra is slightly wider. Now, one thing that OnePlus have been going on about is the fact that they have hardware correction for distortion. So you shouldn't get as much distortion, I can't say that word, distortion towards the sides, but Samsung does this with software and I really can't notice any distortion on the Samsung device, even though it is wider. And I particularly took this shot, which had these straight lines for this uh, building and all of the poles. But yeah, the S21 Ultra is doing absolutely fine. So I really can't notice much of a benefit for the hardware fix for the distortion. And also the S21 Ultra does once again have better dynamic range. Check out where the light's hitting the sign. The S21 Ultra has maintained the details there, whereas the OnePlus 9 Pro has blown some of those out. The colors, however, do seem more natural on the OnePlus 9 Pro. If you look towards the ground, Samsung is making them a little bit more vibrant. Again, this is something that's just down to personal preference. You might actually like that. Now, I wanted to test out dynamic range further. So we had the light coming in here from the background and the OnePlus crushing those shadows again, the S21 Ultra giving you a more balanced shot, which I do prefer. Again, it is wider. This example, if you look towards the light at the back, Samsung has maintained it, whereas the OnePlus has blown those out. And if you look towards the shadow details in the foreground, 
Once again, the S21 Ultra doing a better overall job compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro. So I am preferring the ultra-wide camera of the S21 Ultra. Here is another shot. And if you look towards my hand, the OnePlus 9 Pro has smoothened things out there, whereas the S21 Ultra has kept things sharp. Now, both ultra-wide cameras can double up as macro cameras, so you can go in super close. And I think both actually do a really good job. Check out this picture of the leaf here. This is uh, some tree bark. Again, both do Doing very very well now when it comes to low light from the ultra wide camera I think both actually do a really good job overall here you can see that both have maintained the shadows as well as the highlights and I was using the respective night modes on both devices but in this shot the OnePlus kind of has this purple hue to it I don't know what's going on there I did try to take this shot multiple times and it would give me the same result with this kind of purple hue which I do not like so I do prefer the S21 Ultra here okay next up is zoom pause sorry to interrupt guys just side staff here wanted to remind you that if you're enjoying the video then do smash that like button it really helps out with the youtube algorithm and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more content like this cheers plate so from both cameras you have around three times optical zoom on the first stage and i actually prefer the s21 ultra even at that three three point three times zoom here is an image side by side. Now, if we do blow these images up 200%, you can see that we do have a better overall image on the S21 Ultra. There is a lot of noise on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, the S21 Ultra has 10 times optical zoom. So if we have a look at 10 times versus 10 times digital zoom on the OnePlus 9 Pro, then the S21 Ultra clearly doing a much better job. And you can also go up to 30 times digital zoom on the OnePlus 9 Pro, but I mean, it's it's gonna be an easy win for the S21 Ultra, thanks to that Periscope Zoom technology. You can actually read all of the text on here, which you simply cannot do on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now you can go all the way up to 100 times zoom on the S21 Ultra, which is something that I very rarely do. If you wanna read some text in the distance like this, sure, it's there. But uh, zoom, generally, I do prefer on the S21 Ultra. Now, let's have a look at some portraits. So using the wide angle portrait on both devices, they're actually both doing pretty decent in this example. They both have got the area in between my arm, but neither of them are perfect. The OnePlus has kind of blurred the edge of my sunglasses. The S21 Ultra has blurred a bit of my ear. Now, both of these do have the 2X option for portraits, but surprisingly, neither of them actually use the dedicated telephoto cameras for portraits. So it's actually cropping into the main sensor and that results in much softer images, especially on the S21 Ultra. This is something I've talked about many times before, and it's also washed me out quite a bit. The OnePlus 9 Pro is giving you an overall sharper image. I think it's doing some post sharpening here, but it's still quite soft on my face. It looks like I've almost got some makeup on. It's very, very smooth on the face. So edge detection is good on both, but uh, I'm not a fan of either of these. Here's another example. Again, both are doing pretty decent from the main camera, but when we do use the 2X camera, then neither are doing great. I believe the S21 Ultra has better maintained the colors on my jacket and my clothes. You've got more truer blacks there, but it's washed my face out. The OnePlus 9 Pro, I mean, I'm looking quite yellow on here, so I don't think it's maintained skin tones well, but generally in terms of edges, they're doing okay. Now I did notice a bit of a hit or miss situation when it comes to portraits on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Sometimes it wouldn't focus into the subject like this example here. I'm hoping this can be fixed with software updates. It's something that I do have to display. However, again, I don't think neither of these are great for portraits. I think other smartphones do portraits much better. Right, moving on to selfies. Now for me, the selfie situation, it was quite an easy pick and it was the S21 Ultra. I have to give credit to Samsung for really upping their selfie game this year. You can actually switch off the brightening skin that they've been doing for years. So they've actually listened and they've allowed you to switch this off. And look at the skin tones here. The S21 Ultra, much more true to life. And also look at my jacket. The blacks are much more true to life compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro. We've also got a sharper image on the S21 Ultra compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro, which has brightened things up and it's tried to add a bit of pink to my face, which I do not like. So 
clear win for the S21 Ultra. Here's another example. Once again, the S21 Ultra, much more accurate in terms of colors, and it's also much sharper. And for portrait mode from the front facing camera, in terms of edges, both actually do a pretty good job overall, but you'll notice that the S21 Ultra is slightly wider. Again, the colors and the sharpness go to the S21 Ultra. Here's another example. Edges, I would say it's a bit of a draw, both doing very well, but the overall better image is the S21 Ultra. For low light selfies, the OnePlus is completely off here. I'm not sure what's going on. The S21 Ultra doing a much better job. Now with the S21 Ultra, you also have the option of using night mode from the front facing camera. And here you can see that it's doing a much better job. Now using the front facing flash on both devices, the S21 Ultra does wash things out a little bit. The OnePlus 9 Pro in my opinion is doing better here, but overall for selfies, it is the S21 Ultra for me. Right now let's have a look at some video. So both devices can film 4K video. And I think generally both do a very, very good job. As you can see, I think OnePlus does boost the shadows a little bit, which does look more pleasing. And OnePlus has definitely improved the video game for them this year. However, when it comes to stabilization, I did find that the S21 Ultra was more stable, both of the primary as well as the ultra wide cameras. Now here's something interesting, which I haven't really heard many other reviewers talk about. The OnePlus 9 Pro can film at 8K, but not only can it film at 8K from the primary camera, it can also do this from the ultra wide camera. The S21 Ultra, although it's had 8K and previous Samsung devices have also had 8K, it's not really usable 8K because it crops in very heavily. And if you compare this to the OnePlus 9 Pro, I very much prefer the 8K video coming from the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now check out this example of the ultra wide camera from the OnePlus 9 Pro versus the severely cropped in primary camera of the S21 Ultra when filming 8K. Yeah, the OnePlus 9 Pro just gives you a lot more flexibility when shooting 8K, which I really do like. Another new feature that the OnePlus 9 Pro has introduced is 4K at 120 frames a second. And this actually gives you some really good slow motion at 4K if you do slow down that footage compared to the 4K 60 frames a second on the S21 Ultra. Now both devices do have 1080p slow motion as well at 240 frames a second. And I actually preferred the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra here because it gave you a sharper result. The OnePlus 9 Pro, when you are at 1080 with slow motion, it does give you quite a soft result. Now for 720p slow motion, the S21 Ultra does give you a short burst at 960 frames a second, but this is, I mean, it's definitely not usable. It's just an absolute mess. The OnePlus 9 Pro can do up to 480 frames a second, and it's not a burst. You can actually film a decent amount, and it does give you better results. I generally wouldn't use these features unless you wanted something super, super slow-mo, but I do prefer slow motion on the OnePlus 9 Pro overall. For autofocus, I would say it's a bit of a draw. You can see an example here with the OnePlus 9 Pro as well as the S21 Ultra. I think both of them have pretty good autofocus. And for audio, you can have a listen and tell me what you prefer. What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to the much awaited camera comparison, Super Saf style between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 9 Pro. We'll be testing out all aspects of the cameras, front facing, rear facing, images, video, low light. Let's see if the Hasselblad partnership really makes much of a difference. Right, front facing cameras. Front facing cameras, um, very disappointed with the OnePlus 9 Pro because it only films at 1080p. The S21 Ultra can film at 4K and it can also film at up to 60 frames a second. The OnePlus 9 Pro can only do 1080p at 30 frames a second and it doesn't record great footage. I mean, check out this example. You've just got highlights completely blown out in the background. It's just not good. It also isn't as wide as the S21 Ultra. So for the front facing camera video on the OnePlus 9 Pro, big thumbs down from me. It was definitely an afterthought. So that is the more compact Super SAS style camera comparison. To conclude, I wanna say that uh, OnePlus, I wanna give them credit. They have definitely improved their cameras. I know they're getting a lot of criticism, but I think they kind of bought that upon themselves because of the whole Hasselblad hype. People were expecting OnePlus devices to blow the others out of the water. That is definitely not the case. 
Yes, the OnePlus 9 Pro has brought lots of improvements, but overall as a package with the front-facing camera as well, I would still pick something like the S21 Ultra. Now, granted, the S21 Ultra is priced higher, especially in the UK, you're looking at around £200 more compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro. In the US, the S21 Ultra has actually been discounted and there was a time where it was actually going for $1,000 in the US. So that's only $30 more than what the OnePlus 9 Pro is retailing at. So you do have to consider that as well. Now, if you want me to do a detailed comparison about all of the other features of the S21 Ultra versus the OnePlus 9 Pro, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do smash that like button for me. If you wanna see lots of images from lots of different devices, why not give me a follow on Instagram? I am at SuperSaf. If you wanna see more camera comparisons on other content like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. There'll be some videos here that YouTube thinks you'll like, so do go ahead and also check those out. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.